Hey there, I just had an argument with the voices in my head and I won. So, I'm not going to set any challenge with all these. There are various locks behind me, even of different types. I'm just going to sit here and try to pick some of these locks on camera. And ignore all the voices in my head screaming you can't do it. You're a failure and all that other stuff. <clears throat> I ignore them anyway most of the time. <clears throat> right, I get your proper attention. <clears throat> In my case, I'm using two fingers on the tension bar. And this is a Brinks 5 pin on security, which normally opens up fairly easy for me. And I had just opened it before turning this camera on. And it opened like that without all the prior wiggling around and crap. Alright, that's one down. Let's go over here to a master lock, which should open. And I'm not racing, I'm just, this is supposed to be therapy for me. Opening locks should make me feel good, right? That one's open. It's just kind of stuck, you see that? It's open. There's something wrong with this lock. It's like it's stuck on there. There we go. That was open. <coughs> A commercial master lock. I would think a commercial master lock would be like that at least throw in a security pin or something in there or increase the number of pins from four to five. That would just be me thinking, you know, then you could throw the name commercial on it and it would mean something. These are only like any more difficult to work because they've been in a working environment. And they're cruddy. This one's hard because of some reason. It's relatively new. Maybe it would just be hard because of my skills at the time. And it had nothing to do with the lock itself being hard to open. Who knows. But I'm not just picking easy locks to mess with. I'm just picking locks to mess with. Because I can Reset tension. Eventually I'll switch to another Bogota, but right now I'm just messing with this one. And I'll switch over to the other side. Sometimes that helps. You can try something other than rocking like I'm doing. You can try the raking, which is like in and out. Tension still is really important with raking and so if I get more like uh, a feel that the rock, the lock is about to pop, <clears throat> that's persistence. See if I would have sat there and just given up on that lock. First, I know I've already messed with this one. I'm going to try to mess with this guy. He's a big guy. It's supposed to be number nine on the security list. And I've done this one real quick, like with less than 18 seconds and shit, but... That was the other day, and <clears throat> today I haven't had any luck really with opening locks. And this is one right here is an, another example of me doing something wrong. What I look at is if, if you take a lock and you sit there and you pick it up and you open it up like that real quick... And then you pick it up again, and it takes you like a minute or 30 seconds, then you're doing something wrong. You're applying too much tension, or you're not trying it again, or you're rocking it incorrectly. But if you could have done it in less than 18 seconds, you should be able to do it in less than 18 seconds every time. And only improve upon the speed at which you open it, because after all, it's not a strange lock to you anymore. You know where its sweet spot is, or you should. Start figuring it out. <clears throat> In my case, 
some of these I know open up better with other tools, but I'm just trying to figure out if a Bogota works on so many different things, if you could just narrow it down to one Bogota type, because there's so many different variations. This Sparrow's Reflection is another Bogota, but its amplitude is like thicker. And on some locks, they like thicker one amplitude and some other locks you can't even get that in there <coughs> and this lock right here is just being stubborn camera shy and various other names I'm about to call it so I'll drop that and grab the famous El Rico El Rico maybe that's Spanish for El Rico alright <coughs> see if I have any luck with that Probably not. This is a Sparrows version because I know that because of the handle. Being stubborn, are you? Well, I'm not giving up on you. I'm just going to try a different pick sometimes. You can try a different pick. I'll try this little homemade trip pick that I've got right here. <coughs> like I said, I'm in no hurry other than I'm taking too damn long on the video, so once I reach like eight minutes. I'll break it off and switch it over to another boring video for people that like to watch boring videos. And see how I kind of struggle with that one. Ugh, open, damn you. Since I've had luck with that, I won't give up on this pick. I'll stick with it. you got to watch also that you don't go too far down. I've had locks open. I didn't know it. I was stuck up against that warding. I mean, that rivet there. Didn't even know it. I said, man, I thought that was a really good false set on that. And it wasn't a false set. It was a real set. You falsely thought it was a false set. <laughs> How false of you. All right, stop being silly. All right. We only have 30 more seconds in this segment and we hope we can add more to your total than the measly four locks that you've done in eight minutes god what an amateur well i am an amateur i never claim to be a pro i'm an amateur comedian i'm an amateur at a lot of things some things i think i'm good at better at it than others at and very few and lock picking is not one of them where i claim to be superior <clears throat> or even super knowledgeable. Let's take out a Chinese. Let's take out the Chinese walk. In the last second with this. Oh, I've gone past eight minutes and now I've violated my own arbitrary ruling. What will we do? What will we do? Uh, I think we should panic. That's always a good thing to do is panic. It does nothing, but it feels good. Well, I violate my own rules about length of videos, too. And no one's listening to you, even yourself. No one is listening to you. If a Bogota should work, maybe half a Bogota should work also. This lock is incredibly easy. It, like, sneezes open. And I, I, I should really be continue this lesson today of what to do if things are not working for you in the lock picking world perhaps you should do something else like darts billiards golf watch people pick locks a lot of times that helps with me if you can't open your own locks you can watch somebody else lock, open up their own locks and just resting giving yourself a rest can make all the difference in the world you go back to this one lock that you were struggling with. So it could be in wrong tension. I could be using the wrong tension wrench. I don't know. I'm just being incompetent today. I'm demonstrating more of how not to open locks today than how to open locks. Did anybody else hear a bird? <laughs> or is that just in my head? You're loony. You're loony. That's what's the matter with you. 
no one else hears these voices in your head or these beds. Hey, I dropped it. I dropped my pick. Right, I should stop this right now because it's getting silly. I'm going to stop this one. If you will let your hands release the lock, step away from the lock, sir. Kindly step away from the lock. Turn off your video. You're not listening to me, are you? No, I'm not. I'm not listening to you. You can take your rules, your instructions, and shovel up your pickle. Yeah, that was rather rude of you. Yes, I'm a rather rude person sometimes. I shall not apologize because that would be not being rude. All right. Sorry for boring you with an 11 minute video of only me struggling with locks. This is a lock that I've geared up. Let's use that bidding that shouldn't be good to rake with. And I'm using six, all six chambers serrated, everything I could throw in there nasty myself or anyone else who dares try to open this thing with a rake or anything else. It's not going to be easy. I want to finish that up and say, see, I didn't open up all these locks in all that time because it was this lock right here that was making it difficult. These are fun locks to play with too and teaches me a lot on how to take a lock apart and how to build locks and, and what are challenging. I've had, these things are usually so easy to open. I, I've given up on them most of the time. Just like you should give up on watching this long video because he's not going to be successful anymore. When he opened up those other locks, that's when you should have just said, okay. I've seen people fail before. The thing here, then move on. All right, yes, I'm boring everyone with failure. All right, sorry about all that. Wish it would have been luck. I opened up all these locks so rapidly. Now you can go off and watch something else.